spiritual wealth and currently unable to care. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I talk about the laws of attraction, taking positive action, which ends in success and satisfaction and so much more. Let's get it. Today, I'm going to talk about two things that can help you basically always thrive and always stay in connection to God and source energy and to your higher self and all that good jazz, your peak self, however you want to, whatever, whatever label you want to put on it, whatever label you want to place on it. Um, something finally stuck with me that Abraham Hicks said, says, and it just finally just really clicked in and really stuck with me. And it's basically a day to day thing that I've really, really been working on. So I really want to share it with you guys and it's been helping me and I think it's going to help you as well. Let's go ahead and clear mind, body, heart, and soul, connected heart center and anchor into our higher self now. All right, guys, the reason why um, you should never uh, care about what other people think of you is because if they are not loving you and uh, adoring you, then they are not connected to source. They are, they are pinched off from source energy and they are judging you. And in reality, they're actually just judging themselves. So however you are judging anybody else, it's actually just a reflection of how you feel about yourself. And it's a guider of where you have some healing to do and some just kind of some so sending love and light to anybody who's getting triggered with that tonight. And I just want to say the best way to go about it is just know that if somebody is totally connected to source energy, to God, they are going to love and adore you no matter what this case situation is. They are just going to love you just like source energy loves you. God loves and adores each and every one of us no matter what the case may be. And they're always, uh, they're always, you know, they're always with us. It's just us that we pinch ourselves off and then we go into some sinning and we start shaming and judging and all that good, good jazz. And another thing to always remember is nobody, nothing or any con anything that goes on is worth you pinching yourself off. So I know that's a huge, huge, huge thing, but always learn and grow from something. So if something happens and you do find yourself, you pinch yourself off a little bit and you are in a little bit of that type of um, mindset, always stop and know that, okay, I'm not, I'm not, this is not how God feels about this person because God loves that individual. Regardless of what you think or what you think they've done to you, they really truly love that individual and they love you too as well. And they want the best for the both of you and for all parties. So um, just know that when you are feeling that way, revert it back to yourself once again and be like, okay, what can I learn from this? I will give you a little small example of what happened to me and I learned several things from it. One thing that I learned is anytime I go into a restaurant or any type of building, I usually say I clear this building and everybody in it and everybody who's entered it. Um, sometimes I like, I guess I feel like, eh, I'm just like, it doesn't work or it does work or whatever. Or maybe I just, I do it uh, for just in case he's, well, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I realized I didn't do it. I just was feeling all good inside. And so I, I forgot to do it when I entered a restaurant. Everything was cool. Um, you know, I love everybody there, of course, but I noticed that there was a different vibration that I was that I was attracting. I was attracting, uh, you know, complaining. I seen servers that were limping. It was just like everybody was worn down from Sunday, and I was just like automatically just trying to learn from everything that I could learn from this atmosphere, this, from this thing. So my husband and I, we love to get. Um, we usually share a plate, and um, then we usually get sourdough and gravy. And most restaurants, all the restaurants that I go to do not charge for gravy or never have if they were supposed to or not. I don't know. I'm unaware of that. So um, a new server serving us and she actually serves, she gives us a cup of gravy and there's about that much gravy in it, which isn't very much. And it's cold. So I asked for another cup of gravy. She then gave us a full cup of gravy. She was busy doing all the sugars and the salt and peppers and all that, which I understand that as a server. So I was like, it's okay, but we kept having to ask for stuff. So you feel like that irritating person, but you're like, oh, thank you. You're trying to be super nice because you know how it is. You know how it is. Well, she charges us two for two sides of gravy. So she charges us a dollar for one side and a dollar for the other side. And so I got upset. I totally got upset and I allowed her and allowed this incident to get me out of alignment 
And so I was just immediately like, okay, what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this? I was like, you know, I, you know, you, they say that you, we see in others what resides in us. I don't know how that would resign in me and blah, 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 blah. Well, it did resign in me. I did reflect on it. And, and I learned like how I could have been way more empathetic to her, even knowing that my experience is that I've had a really bad Sunday or I've had a really bad day. And it sometimes did carry in maybe a little bit of, negativeness into my or maybe a little lashing out into the next day and so I just learned from that and learned that you know it's over two dollars it's literally over two dollars I know that God in the universe is supplying way more than two dollars back to me times a hundred so there's no reason to be upset about that and um but I just learned from that and learning from that and knowing that oh I don't want to allow this moment to take me out of alignment it's over two dollars what it's not that big of a deal it's just the concept and and maybe i have done that maybe i've had if had a bad day or a bad weekend or whatever and maybe i've lashed out kind of like she did but it was just a reminder to me that revert it back to yourself once again see what you can learn from it but don't allow anybody or anything to get you out of alignment to source energy and to god and to infinite intelligence and to your higher self nobody no circumstance or anything is worth that and not only that even if um, you think that it is it's not going to help that circumstance all right another thing that i want to uh, get into that really stuck stuck with me this time another thing um, it is Abraham Day, but another thing that hugely stuck with me was, um, like, I've heard it before, but it's just one of those things that just sometimes it's like, ooh, that I really get that now. And one of the things was, uh, she said, you can't, you know how we always say, focus on the solution and not the problem. Focus on the solution and not the problem. Because you can't solve the problem if you're focused on the problem. Get it? So you always want to focus on the solution. Well, one thing that I learned in a vibrational sense is when you are focused on the problem, you're in that vibrational, you're in that same vibrational stance. So you literally can't meet up with the resolution. So you have to always focus on the solution, never the problem. And I know that may not stick with you today. I hope it sticks with you. But um, just one more time. Yeah, just think about that. So when you're literally like, even if like my husband dropped and spilt a ton of beer like all over just it got off balance and the whole tw the whole thing just went and splashed killed about four beers the other day on the thing and all I thought of was oh my gosh this is sucks this really sucks but I all I kept thinking of was was the resolution was the resolution and I kept thinking of all oh, this all turned out to my benefit because it could have turned out some other way, it could have prevented something, could have prevented a fight or something. But I always look at what it, what it, why it worked out to my benefit and how it worked out to my benefit, even though I had to clean up a huge mess. I just kept thinking of the resolution and the solution and how I'm getting my floor cleaned and how whatever, I know this worked out to my benefit and it helped, helped me get through that. So anyways, I just want to uh, go into my affirmations now. Hope you guys enjoy that. I've been wanting to get that out to you for a while, so I'm excited. So within that, we are going to an affirmation of I am healing, I am. I'm healing mind, body, heart, and soul, I am. I'm healing all my energy fields. Now I am, I'm healing all that needs to be. That's one of my favies. And like I said, I also learned that I did not clear the building and everybody in it and everybody who enters it. And I noticed a huge difference in my um, experience due to the fact, possibly could be due to that. Allow it to be. Everything's always working out for me. Enjoy the journey no matter where it be and don't take life too seriously. All right, one more for today. I'm loving myself. I'm loving myself unconditionally I am. I'm loving myself and others unconditionally I am. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying that. Moving on to Cheryl's secrets. Today is Wealthy Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a wealthy Wednesday. And what is whatever your mind, whatever we put in our mind is going to unwind. Wow, I like that. Totally forgot about that one. Like I said, Cheryl's secrets are secrets to me. Whatever you put in your mind is going to unwind. 
Turtle Secrets are just little things that I write and I throw in there because I don't know really, I didn't know really where else to put them and I kind of wanted to clean off my pads and then that's how Cheryl Secrets um, came about and it's just kind of been my thing on my channel and people seem to really like it. So I keep doing it. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. Have an awesome blossom day. Keep manifesting your dreams each and every way. Stay positive, stay powerful, and stay true to you. Cheryl Fuller with Spiritual Wealth.